when it came down to doing the e-portfolio, I started thinking, hey, this is actually pretty useful. Because I'm writing about my perception of the course. You know, like people usually say, when you take this course, you're going to learn this and that and that. But with this specific series of courses, you are the one who makes a decision. It's all about entrepreneurship and learning how to deal with different situations. The e-portfolio, it's something you have complete control. When we got the, the outline to do it, it's more, I suggest you do this, you do that, but at the end of the day, you are the one writing about what you feel that should be there. So, in my case, I my first two years of university, I played football. Football was not work in the outline, but I felt I had to talk about that. Also, it, this course is a lot about knowledge integration and how what you know can be applied in different settings. And you in the e-portfolio, I had the chance to maybe explain to whoever's reading it, potential employers, family, professors, someone who wants to know me better, some set of skills that if you see a resume, you won't see. So for example, um, I, I'm a member of the Latin American Student Association, and you know what, if you see member of LASA in a resume, you'll be like, what is LASA? Like, what do you do? But in fact, I help a lot of students learn Spanish and with anything they have to do with the language, for example. Also, I won an award one time and if I don't explain what was that award about, they, the people are going to be, okay, what is that about? So it's just highlighting what I feel that people should know that, if, that won't stand out in a resume. When I first saw the e-portfolio, I thought, hey, let's try to make it simple. But you can make something complex into something simple. It, 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 was, um, it was challenging in the way that you, you know what, you get overwhelmed. Like you start looking at this and then it turns out to be, wow, like, this assignment, it's this e-portfolio, it's more work than I expected, it's more thinking than I expected, it's, it's actually something that was going to make you reflect. I was like, why do I really want, what's the way that I want people to see me? Do I, do they want, do I want to seem just a regular student? Do I, like, hey, another student in the economics department, in the artist department? Or do I want to do a good job? And hey, this is who I am. This is what I do. These are my highlights. And I'm going to explain to you how me, like how can I help you or your company. So you went from a very simple presentation to a very, um, into something that you put your heart into. Because you really want to let them know, hey, I am here. I'm not a number. I'm not a regular student. I am someone who can help you. And that's, I think that's what the e-portfolio turned into. When I, was, when I started working in my e-portfolio, I realized that I know nothing about computers besides the how to use them, basically. So I've saw a lot of people editing pictures and changing the fonts and coding and at times like wow like how am I going to compete with someone who has experience with Photoshop and pictures and backgrounds and all this sort of stuff so that was the first challenge and then I went to decided to learn I started looking at the banner and how to work pictures and what can I change about this the fonts 
and it turns out to be very simple like they make it in a simple way for someone who, who doesn't have experience in that so that's the first challenge the second challenge was um, trying to figure out what to put in my portfolio because um, I just don't want to sound like everyone else I just don't want to put academic highlights interests skills so I try to all the guidelines they gave me I try to answer all those questions into in paragraphs so like not a specific question more as I'm going to talk about myself and while I'm talking about myself I'm going to explain everything so yes so that was the challenge but definitely the computer challenge was the, the biggest one when it comes to multimedia of course the first thing and the easiest thing that comes to your mind is pictures I'm just gonna make put a lot of pictures in it but then multimedia it's pictures videos songs so how like how am I gonna use this to my advantage so again me not having that knowledge in um, how to create websites or how to uh, put it in smoothly that actually had an impact on me but what I did, for example, in my ePortfolio, I recorded the welcome page message and I uploaded it in SoundCloud and I put it to play automatically. Every time you, you click on my homepage, I'm going to be like, you're going to listen to my voice reading what I'm planning to do. So, you know, that gives them a welcome I, I feel that I will give a whoever's reading it like wow like a welcome message like hey this is my portfolio 